uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, busy earthlings, hope you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and hope you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to Channel on Bush, and today I'm going to teach you about positioning. Positioning specifically for heavy tanks. The reason I'm making this video is I think we've got to go back to basics. A huge section of the player base is getting farmed. Um, and the reason they're getting farmed is they started the game later. And there wasn't really a golden period, but well, let me give you an example. Back when I started playing Blitz, the best players in the game were players who had already played World of Tanks PC. Uh, and I know watching Ruckus and my mate Swiss Cheesel and other people play, having played World of Tanks PC and already made the mistakes, you were a god when you came out to Blitz. No one understood angling, uh, spaced armor, HE, how to, how to you know, minimize damage by wiggling and all this kind of stuff was new. And for a lot of players, that's still the case. Uh, and think about that. They're coming into this fresh. And as the screams of noob and dog and monkey and all that come across the airways of the Asia server, I'm finding that a lot of the best players in the game are 50% plus. Like, I'm not talking about unicums. I'm talking about just guys who can win one or two percent more than they lose are considered the best players in the game and there is an awful lot of 40 percent flat to 48 percent players and they just don't understand a lot of this stuff so let's talk about positioning first rule of positioning know thyself what tank are you driving are you driving an e100 an e100 has incredible side armor it's got like a 120 millimeter flat plate right along the edge and then it's got a 60 millimeter bit of skirt side armor plus tracks between the two of them. That means that you're looking at a tank that can absorb enormous amounts of damage into the side of it, but it has a huge flat turret. So you never want to have this tank in any kind of position where people can shoot from the side of the tank or you will be destroyed. It doesn't have the ability to angle to multiple different directions at once. You can handle about 30 degrees left, 30 degrees right, jiggling and wiggling, but if you start exceeding those those numbers, you're going to get destroyed. Now, it's a big booty pie-eating German machine, and I love it. But it's got a derpy 150 millimeter gun. It's good with HE, and it is very, very slow. So what do you do with it? Well, positioning-wise, you understand that that is what the tank does. And instead of putting it in a position where you need the enemy to be bad to succeed, you take what the defense gives you, you drive it through the urban areas or the town where you can control who sees you, and then you work from that base there. We're gonna work also on the idea that you have to be cognizant or aware of what the rest of the team is doing. Because unfortunately, Blitz has a thing where the team won't always do what is in their best interests. There's just no way around this. Teams, like I sometimes get really upset because I'm like, there's three lights and one medium on the team and all our lights and mediums and everyone else goes the heavy flank. And we still win because they do it together. There's no a guarantees here. This is the T-150. This is a flat-sided box. It's a collector's tank now. But back in the day, this used to be the premier side-scraping heavy at tier 6. And I thought I'd roll this thing out again to show you how simple this is. This is the one line. Fort to spare one line. It's never really changed. This has been the main heavy route for the game forever. And... You can see I've got a hatch on the left. So I start side scraping with that hatch hidden and only showing my flat sides on the right. This is Heavy Tank 101 positioning. There's more than one tank there. Here's another thing that new players get really, really wrong when they're playing a heavy tank. That, that guy just hit me. So what I need to do is go out sideways and hit him back because obviously he hit me and I should hit him back. One of the worst things you can do in a heavy is bleed early because as you bleed early, you lose hit points and he heavies don't have damage per minute. Heavies have the ability to take big chunks of damage and still keep firing. And the more hit points you have, the better off you are. So your position is all about conserving hit points and allowing your team to work off you. And you'll see that this is a lovely game because my team all pushes in in the same manner. And I haven't given anyone an angle. The enemy heavies are just too thirsty. And that light tank, he's thirsty as well. 
All I'm doing here is playing a pretty, it's not a great tank, it's a solid tank, but it's definitely slow and heavy, and I'm giving it the room for it to be successful. Positioning is all about that. This smasher is such a wally. This happens all the time. He's He gets upset because people get in the way and he can't get the kill shots. And, you know, I got that kill shot and he's going to be filthy about it. Um, or I get this kill shot and he, see, he says negative, negative, negative. Here we go. I'm going to get this one as well. And he calls me a dog. <laughs> dog. Negative. Dog. <laughs> like, just... What is wrong with these people? Anyway, onwards and upwards. I'm going to show you an example of bad positioning on my point and on the point of my eyes 4 This is a game where you can see that there are four red tanks spotted down the bottom, but that's three unspotted tanks, including a 183 and two heavies. They're slow to come out of the spawn area here. The IS-4 decides to just push up and then he doubles down and pushes directly into the middle of three heavy tanks. Look at where the team is. We're spread across the map. You have to be aware of where your team is. If your team is not all pushing behind you and iron fisting, then you need to stop. You need to stop and wait. And it might not be that it fits your narrative of, God, I'm a legendary tanker and I'm just going to destroy all worlds and no one will be able to do anything to me. That's fine. Doesn't mean it's going to fit that narrative. That's great. But what it means is you will win more games and you'll be alive for longer because if you don't position well at the start of the game, you're going to lose it early, okay? What I do here is I make a mistake. The rule of thumb with heavy tanks is you can angle. Like you have armor, you can angle your tank. You can move forward, side scrape, give them hard angles to move to. Letting someone get past you, particularly a mouse who's that big, just because you don't pay attention for a split second, and means now that you have multiple tanks on multiple different angles is a tragedy, okay? And I do three and a half K in this damage and it's like way more than anyone else in the team. But look at me, I have just put myself in a no-win situation and I can't get past this mouse. He's not dumb. He's keeping me in front of him so that the E100 and it's just bad. It's bad positioning. And I'm angling to two tanks at once. I'm waiting for the bounce from the mouse and then the bounce from the 100 Now I'm going to try and reverse side scrape and hope the mouse pushes up into me. And it works a little bit, but there's still a 183 around and there's this mouse. And I mean, there's only so much you can do if you've done it wrong in the first place. You can see I'm angling to both, but then the 183 hits me for 1200 What are you going to do? This is more like it. Look at the team. Look at the team first. That waffle tractor is not in a good position. And he tries to hold it, and I literally just shove him out of the way. He's reversing so that he can put shots down the heavy line, right? Which is crazy. I am going to hold this angle. Now, you won't get masteries for this. Look at this waffle tractor, honestly. Like, he's lucky to be alive. Look, that, that's that E100 there could have hit him for a thousand hit points damage. And I just move him. I say, mate, you're the wrong spot. Go somewhere else. Yeah, this is me. <laughs> All I'm going to do here is take up their time. Now, you might want big damage games, and that's fine. There's lots of tanks you can drive that are purely offensively based. That is not what the E100 is about. And I'm not even getting into the angling of the turret versus the angling of the incoming targets and, and tracking different people. I'm going to show you some side scraping here. This is pure side scraping. I pen in three tanks down there. They can't move. They can't go forward. I don't do huge amounts of damage. I think I do 2,000 damage this game. But this is the position. I am a fulcrum around which the rest of my team can work its magic. If you want to be a big heavy tank driver and you're just doing it for damage, you're doing it wrong. If you don't bleed hit points and you hold a position, then you give the rest of your team an even chance. There is the old axiom that I can't remember which super duper eunuch. It might have been Fishy or one of the boys came up with uh, on the NA server a while ago. There's 30% um, of the games that you can't lose, 30% of the games that you can't win, and the other ones, that's up to you. And that's exactly what playing with good positioning will give you, the opportunity 
to win the games that are up in the air and undecided. Watch this. This is a, a great example of that. I mean, I'm surprised I hit him. I'm also surprised I only hit him for 378. But as I drive towards where I want to be, which is the top right corner of the map, because obviously I'm a heavy tank and I'm wasting my time running around down the bottom unless I'm going to get to the front line, uh, I'm angling my tank. I'm angling my tank to possible incoming fire. I'm angling my turret to possible incoming fire. These are habits that you should be in. I, it's one of the reasons why I always recommend that people drive down the German heavy line, the E100 line. Um, there's no guarantees. Like, look at that. That Chieftain made a very nice hit there. Uh, and I immediately wait. I want to reset camo before I come up this last little bit of the road because I'm not certain what's going on at the top. And I don't want to get hit by the Chieftain again or get snapped by the E100 as he comes around that corner. And now we're going to start moving back up. Under the gun for the Chieftain, that's fine. Thinking about hitting him with a HE round, moving back up. I am doing my job. My positioning is such that it's very difficult for someone to push into me. And I've got a teammate here who is actually doing his job as well. So what am I going to do? I'm not going to bugger off and leave him and look for some sniper damage on the corner. I'm going to work the numbers over here. And this E100 that we're fighting is doing a very good job. But it's hard when you're on a long reload like this to actually hold an angle against multiple tanks. And I don't want to push too far around because there is every chance that there is someone here who can still hit me. Ah, uh, that was bad. I meant to switch to heat. And he did. That's why he hit me for 467. But look at this. This is positioning 101. There is no one that can shoot me from the right. There is only one tank to deal with right here. And that's, that's how you play the game. That's how you play the game and win more importantly. Positioning isn't just about being in a medium tank and flying around the map like a lunatic. Positioning is about doing what is good for your tank. It's one of the reasons why 183s that you see that guy there, um, who's actually done the right thing there. He moved up, but the E100 took the fight at the corner and that meant that we didn't have to go around. So the 183 was more or less stuck in a really horrible position. It could have moved, made a difference, whatever. This is how it goes. Let me give you a great example. One of the reasons I play heavies all the time is because I usually have a couple of light games or medium games where my heavies are like broken jock straps that support nothing. And I just go like, guys, have you ever heard of a flank? And and I get frustrated and I go and drive an E100. Why do you think I'm all the way back here? Look at my team. They're going the right flank and I'm giving them time to actually move forward while still holding this angle without committing to anything. I'm gently moving my position around, right? I'm about to go, you guys heard of a flank or or you guys need to, and then I think, they're not going to listen. I'm just going to do... <laughs> I ask for a help, see if anyone will, will come along. Because I know there's still tanks unspotted here and I don't want to surrender this heavy line, this one line. It's not doing any damage. We're a minute into the game. I've not spotted anything, but no one has come around this corner. No one has pushed through. I know there's tanks here. I know it in my heart. So I move forward. And I'm happy to move forward in line with the rest of my team. Look at how I still have support on the inside here. I can still fall back and collapse. And I'm not really looking here to spot actively. I'm looking to spot by, yeah, there we go. And look at the angles I'm on. I am absolutely giving no shots away here. There's the E100 bounce. There's the uh, 183 bounce. And then nice ricochet back. And I continue onwards. Now I'm happy to hold the line because look inside of me. The rest of my team has moved up. We might be spread across the map, but there's intersecting lines of fire now. And I don't feel like I'm absolutely on my own. Anyone that pushes across to me is going to cop a flogging. And this E100 over here is in a difficult position because he really needs to pull back and he can't be effective there because his team is actually starting to push up on the inside and they're getting disjointed. This is positioning 101. It's taken me ages to get into this slot and it might not be the highest damage game you'll see on YouTube today, but it is a really super effective game that helps my team win. I could have just given up and gone with the rest of the team and we would have had a 183, an E100, and whoever else wanted to waltz through our flank 
coming up our dates by now. It would have been an absolute disaster. This is how it happens. But by gently moving up, you encourage the rest of your team to do so as well. And this is your job as a super heavy. Your job as a heavy tank that has armor, can angle, can side scrape, is to get into these kind of positions. Now, if you're a hull down tank, you've got to find your own medium with that. You've got to be able to look through the, you know, the binoculars and say, hey, there's a hull down position on the flank. I can help with that. That's why our M6 Yo went out that side. But I'm not a Yo. I'm not a hull down heavy. I'm a heavy tank that loves to side scrape. And I'm just holding this angle and slowly building up a resume of damage. I think we're going to do about 3.5k here. And it's not flashy. And it's not, you know, the kind of thing that will make a, a YouTube meme or a big mastery game. But look at the crap that I put these guys through. Like, this is it, this 183 has been nearly completely ineffective. And to get to me, he's had to come out completely broadside to the world. The E100 stuck. They've given up all those hit points to make one trade. And this is positional heavy play. There you go. This is three and a half thousand damage. And we did it pretty quick once we got our, our heads down. Patience is another thing that you really need to work on. Your positional play is great, but patience. Again, look at the map. I can see that someone is capping D. I know that there are people here. I know that the Emil is waiting for someone to pop, for someone to charge through, for someone to take a shot while he's in a position where he can bounce that shot. Don't do it. Just wait. Set yourself up. You can't win the game in the first minute, you know? You're not going to win the game on your first shot, but you can lose your game really, really fast if you don't really pay attention. And coming back to Blitz has been an eye-opener for me because here we go. Eventually, we get the shot, take it, go straight into a side scrape and hold. Look at our team. Our team is disjointed. We've gone the heavy route. We're spread directly across the map again. It's still even Stevens. I don't feel like there's any great urge to get moving forward. And the Emil's now in a position where he's frustrated. He, people have, don't understand what it is. Like this is a seven minute game, okay? Seven minutes is not a long time. And people feel like it just, it just burns them to wait. It burns them to wait. One of the great things about having a big, slow, derpy gun is your reload is extremely long, okay? That means that in between reloads, you reset your camo. Now we're already a couple of tanks down. Um, this is just how it is. And we're now three tanks down. Well, people lose their minds, but we're waiting. We're being patient. We're taking the shots that are on offer and we're giving nothing, nothing to the enemy. I love playing heavy tanks like this because it means that at least there is someone on my team who can be relied on to do something, okay? And too often, unfortunately, one of the things that happens is your heavy tanks fail, like the heavy tanks on the red team failed there. And they lose patience and they lose the positional battle and suddenly look at the map. Look what's just happened on this map. We were down uh, three tanks and now we're down one tank and we're about to be dead set evens because um, we played positionally and we played with patience. You're not going to win all the games. But if you want to up your win rate and you want to win more, then do this. It, it, will it, will just, it will make your life so much better, especially if you're a newer player. Grab a tank, grind up a proper heavy tank line like an IS-7 line or an E100 line or an IS-4 line and watch everything start coming good for you. Be the rock. Work on your positional play. Get to the flanks or the heavy line flank where people can't shoot you from multiple different angles and grind your way forward until they get so frustrated they start firing HE at you and you're like, yep, seems legit. <laughs> and you know, this is a 5.5k damage game. It's, it's a game that was not particularly flashy 
and it's just grind. It's just grind and work. And that's what positional play is all about. So take a second, take a deep breath and work your way up the map the right way. It's not always going to get you a win, but it will play the percentages and get you a win more than just rolling through to get the big damage numbers would. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, look after yourselves. Stay safe in the battlefield. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos. I'm going to be upgrading the patron system soon, so look out for that. And uh, bye for now. See ya. Au revoir.